Hello. Welcome to another video. It is December of 2020, which means the year is almost over. Can you believe it? It's really hard to believe. It's like this year, it's one of those years that just never ends. But alas, it will. Time continues to roll on. We do things, fill our days with stuff um, like this uh, piece that I did. Um, this was actually a commission piece for a guy in my MS group that I found on the wonderful internet. Um, he wanted me to do uh, something based around his cute little five-year-old terrier mix named Milo um, for his wife for the holidays. So I did. And uh, I wanted to do something a little more interesting than just a portrait. So in the spirit of what I've been interested late in lately, uh, I made him a little comic. Um, he gave me links to his Instagram and some Google photos and stuff, and I set about studying Milo and his personality and uh, found a few photos to work off of and generally just fell in love with this little dog that I've never met. Um, I sketched, sketched him out on a piece of paper before this. Just kind of decided what I was going to do in each frame. Um, Cause this is, uh, this is probably, I mean, not even probably, this is definitely my first big commission piece ever. So I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. So I did a bunch of experimenting for a few weeks just uh, to decide what I wanted to do here uh, to make it the best I possibly could. Um, yeah. And I'm actually pretty proud of it. Uh, I really hope that his wife likes this. Hmm. Speaking of pets, it's really hard for me to make a video without the sound of my cat in the background snoring. Even when he's wide awake, he'll just sit there and snore. I guess it's a purr, but it's kind of snore-like because he's friggin' weird. And then there's also the dog walking around me in circles with a toy in his mouth, just waiting and expecting, being spoiled, aren't you? Those eyes say yes, yes, I am spoiled. <sighs> but, you know, what? what is what is the point of having an animal if you're not going to spoil them? And they're like our children. It brings us joy to spoil them, bring them things, buy them toys and treats and stuff. And in return, they snuggle us at night in bed. And they look at us with those eyes. I'm sure Milo's parents know exactly what I'm talking about. There's always something, you know, there's some guy outside now just uh, whooping and talking really loudly. That's the joy of living in a city. There's always something going on. Always something to be excited about or 
mad about, traffic, people yelling at cars. I don't know. He seems to have chilled out now, but... Man, people. Anyway, uh... For everyone that lives in the States, and I guess Canada too, though they do a different day than us, uh, I hope that you had a lovely Thanksgiving. Um, hope that you were safe and uh, stayed away from the virus, this, this lovely virus of ours. Uh, so far so good over here. We had a bit of a scare at one point um, towards the start of it. Uh, my husband had like all of the symptoms uh, but they went away in 48 hours. He just like stayed in bed and sweated it out. Um, took a test and it was negative and that was the end of that. Uh, it was really weird. And I've been, I've been well, knock on wood. Um, nothing, nothing to tell here. So... I mean, we're just staying home for the most part. Uh, sometimes we'll do curbside pickup at the store. Um, that can be kind of frustrating sometimes because uh, it's hard to rely on other people to pick out meat and fruit and stuff that looks right. Uh, or, you know, to your liking. So if we're not doing curbside, we'll hit the store really quickly and get get fruit and meat and get out of there as quickly as possible. Uh, but yeah. We're trying, man. We're trying to do our part. Um, and we just got delivery tonight. Um, we've been eating turkey soup from the turkey carcass from Thanksgiving. Uh, we made this really amazing soup. Uh, and it's been delicious enough that we haven't really gotten sick of it for a week. Uh, it's actually almost gone. We had two full large Tupperware containers of it, and we've just been eating that down all week. But tonight, uh, I got an Uber Eats coupon in the in the emails, so uh, treated us to some lamb uh, kebabs, sort of, or like gyros, um, like little pita wraps. Uh, with delicious things in them and that um, that yogurty that white yogurty dressing sauce and uh, man they were so good um, uh, why did I start talking about that oh because the guy came to the door and he was a nice guy uh, and just my dog ran outside of course because he does that he's very friendly and the guy reached over and petted him, and there was just that moment of, uh, please don't pet my dog. You're very nice. We're all very nice here, but please don't pet my dog. I didn't say that, but I thought it. And anyway, Zeus, you need, you need a bath. It's been a while. I think he could use a bath. Maybe, maybe later tonight. Uh, yeah, man, don't, don't pet people's dogs. I don't know. It's kind of instinctive, though. I, I shouldn't... I'm not judging, really. If a dog runs out and greets you and, like, hops up on your leg and wants pets, it's kind of... kind of hard not to. But anyway. You know, just little things. Little things that I normally... or that we wouldn't normally, as people, worry so much about. It's... Like, everything is tied to COVID now. Every little paranoia that wasn't there previously. And like touching a gate or like when we go on walks, I use my elbow to uh, hit the crosswalk button. Just all these things. Washing our hands way more than usual. I'm so sick of the smell of this hand soap that we have in our kitchen. I mean, it doesn't smell terrible. It just, it's like this citrusy lemon stuff, and uh, 
I don't know. I'm just tired of smelling it. Maybe we need new soap. But, yeah, we've definitely been using a lot of that <laughs> since March. Man. March. March was... That's the third month of the year. And now we're in the twelfth month. I feel like... It doesn't feel like that long ago. But then again, it kind of does. That's... How many months? Like... Nine months? Nine months of this stuff. Uh, I was on unemployment for a little bit. Um, and that was kind of nice. I'm actually... I did pretty well stashing away savings during that. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm living off of right now while I wait for work to pick up again. Um, so yeah, I'm... I consider myself pretty lucky in that respect. Also, Rory's employed, so... Uh, <laughs> we can have some sort of presenty Christmas. Um, I've gotten him a couple things. He's gotten me a couple things. I got the pets some things. And, uh... Zeus actually knows exactly what I got him, because he can smell it. It's, uh... It's a squeaky toy, one of his favorite squeaky toys, and it smells like bacon. At least it does to dogs, I guess. It doesn't smell like bacon to me. It smells like rubber. But, um, anyway, I put it up on a shelf in the bedroom, and he knows. He keeps going into the, the closet and putting his nose up in the air. So, it's like... <laughs> I, I kind of know what it's like now to be a parent at Christmas when your kids want their toys that you've hidden away. You know? I imagine it's kind of like this. But anyway, I'm kind of excited because we're going to wake up on Christmas and we're going to have little presents for each other under the tree and... and uh, the pets are gonna get their toys, and we're gonna make, like, eggs and bacon and stuff, and chill out, and, uh, depending on what we get for Christmas, probably hang out and wah, play, um, probably play some video games. Um, we're, uh, interested in the, uh, new Hyrule Warriors game on Switch. We played the old one on the Wii U, and... Uh, hours of time playing that together, so pretty excited about the possibility of getting the new one for the Switch. Uh, it's always nice to find a game that we can play together, so we'll see. We'll see what Santa brings. Good old Saint Nick. Uh, what else? Um, so I've been using Twitter a little bit lately. I don't know how many people use Twitter uh, that follow me on here, but uh, feel, free, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Um, I post my artwork on there, and uh, pretty much everything that I post on there I also post on Instagram. But... I like to post some personal stuff on there, like photos of the pets and stuff. Uh, just to, you know, make it a, a little more personal than just, hey, this is what I drew today. Kind of like to put some life updates on there too, so. Anyway, uh, it's lay, L-E underscore burples. Because... For some reason, the word burbles is taken on, like, every single platform. It's super annoying. And and whoever it is, they have, like, one follower. And no posts. It's like, come on, man. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? It's just the way of social media, I say. Uh, yep. So I just mailed this guy out. 
little Milo, went to the post office, mailed off some Christmas cards and some stuff for my family and and this commission piece. And uh oh, he is in the mail. He's on his way. So pretty excited to to see how his wife reacts when she sees it. I had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with this one. I definitely need some more practice with uh, watercolors and like um, assignments, I guess. Because <laughs> uh, this last panel was really hard. I'm I'm not the greatest at drawing people. I will be the first to say that. Uh, but I tried. And it, it, it's not terrible, <laughs> but I definitely need some more practice on on things that I'm not used to drawing. I need to step out of my comfort zone a bit more, and I think I think that'll help. <sighs> yeah, I hope everyone has a lovely rest of their holiday season. Please stay safe. Um, tell your loved ones that you love them. And uh, see you in 2021. <laughs>